set up for it, I presume he is. He's, he's, um, his call sign was there, so I presume he's set up for it. I'm not too certain, but uh, yeah, as I say, it was in the uh, list. I've forgotten where you find it now. There's that many flaming sites, but you'll probably know the one anyway. <coughs> yeah, Roger, yeah. yeah. I think, well, PAU is I set him up, um, 3 PAU. Um, I know Stuart's got one as well. I don't even know my own number. I did have it all written down, how to connect and disconnect all the commands. It's quite easy on the, uh, the 5100. I haven't set any of it up into this, um, but no, that's just on the uh, that's just on me uh, me thirty one e uh, with a hand mic. I hope it's sounding all right. <coughs> yeah, it's certainly working okay, mate. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, you're yeah, absolutely blasting through uh, no issues at all. Um, I was going to say I don't even know my number. I think it's something ninety two three ninety. I don't know. I can't remember. I did write it down there the other the other day, but um, you know when I was sort of having a look through and that, and mate, boy, was sorting sorting the raspberry out for me. He actually set that up for me. Thanks for knowing about it. <laughs> but um, you know I had a look a look for your call sign, and um, you know Paul's after I was away and I was looking for one or two others, but um, I just got uh, a blank return on them because obviously they're not set up yet. Yeah, Roger, well, I'm just going to say, just make sure you're not connected to a reflector, are you? Because if you are, it'll go out on the other side, everyone will hear us. No negative, mate. Um, I, um, I've got to a habit now. Stand up. Of, um, <laughs> you know, every time I connect, I disconnect. You know what I mean? Um, you know, it's the last thing I do before getting out of the car sort of thing. I just make sure you unlink. Um, wait, wait for the unlink uh, confirmation telling me uh, not linked and, uh, you know, sorted. So definitely not linked. Yeah, well, you're cracking stuff, mate. Yeah, no, I say, it's obviously the signal's, well, full strength, it will be. It's coming straight from the Raspberry Pi. But I don't know if you can have conference, I don't know if you can have more people in, but there's loads of uh, empty reflectors knocking about. You can get quite a few of us on, locals. Um, as I say, once SLK gets set up and I figured out uh, all of it with their uh, Paul PAU, because uh, this is set up very, very differently to mine. It really is. Did you get an, um, an ICF file sent off somebody for the... Uh, for the 7100, out of interest, or have you managed to uh, to do it yourself? Program it all. Sorry, mate, I didn't quite catch it. I think you already dropped out. I just lost you. Did I, did I get something, and then, uh, or, did I get, or did I get somebody to do it? I'm not too sure what you're on about there. Yeah, sorry, The uh, you know the ICF file? <clears throat> well, the programming file for programming the radios. Did you program the 7100 yourself, or did somebody else do it for you? Um, I mean, for the most part, it's just as easy as the 5100. Uh, the 5100 I did manually because um, you know, I didn't really know how to do it. Um, my software at that time, I didn't even have a look at the software. Um, but I programmed that out for the most part uh, manually. Uh, got all the basics in. Um, but obviously, the, the in depth stuff when I was talking about all the CV, uh, well, not CV channels in the 51, but um, the marine channels and all that sort of stuff. I did that via the software. Uh, I've got the RTS uh, system software for both the 51 and the 71. I'm not too sure if, um, if I was only needed to buy the lead or even if you can just buy the lead, I presume you can. Um, you know, maybe one would do for both, I don't know, I don't have an idea, but I actually bought them both and I just, uh, the 71, I just programmed that via the software completely. I've not actually looked at that to uh, do manual programming, but it will be a difference to the 51, it'll be easy. Yeah, Roger. It's actually sending near your distance as well, 300 kilometres away, mate. That's what it's showing on here. Uh, so I'm just watching you on my uh, on my screen on the other one. I don't know why I come on this one actually. I should have just used my uh, my 51. Right. Well, that's uh, that, that's on my Andel on the uh, on the 31E. Just give us one second. I'll go on the uh, the other radio. Right. M6MDJ. Right. How's that, does? You receiving us on this one? Nothing. Ah. I just say, as you know, I don't know that much about it at the moment. But, um, you know, everybody who has a contact with it, well, maybe it's because I'm sat right outside the flaming house, I don't know. <laughs> so, um, probably. Oh, it's literally the other side of my wall, so I'm right up against this very short pavement, so I bet, I bet you're six to eight foot, yeah, probably not even eight foot. Roger, a bit strange that, I didn't get any audio on you first over there.